Ready? Oké, okay, it's uh, one o'clock. Um, welcome. We will wait for the candidates, so if they are entering, maybe you can clap. Ja? Oké. Okay. Goed. <coughs> nou. Dat kan ook. Ja, 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 ja. Maar goed, nobody is coming, hè? Eh? So, ja. Yeah. We can clap, ja. Yeah. For sure. Nou. Het is niet oké, okay, hè? Het is niet oké. Okay. Ja. Seated, yeah. <coughs> dear candidates, dear family of the candidates, dear other relatives and families, welcome on behalf of Maastricht University and particular on behalf of the faculty Health, Medicine and Life Sciences. I want to welcome you here in the church, but also our live streamers, welcome um, yeah, online. Um, this is a special meeting uh, because the only goal of this meeting is to graduate students and to present um, certificates. And this is a special meeting of the board of uh, examiners. My name is Nienke de Jong and I'm the chair of the board of examiners. Uh, this, um, this session is organized in the church, St. John Church, a church that is more than 800 years of age and since 1632 it has been the Protestant church in Maastricht. We are grateful to the Reformed Council that we can use this unique location for this ceremony. Today, 33 students will graduate from the Master Human Movements uh, sciences and then specialization sports and nutrition. Uh, nutrition. Let's open this uh, session officially. <coughs> so it's open. No. Um, let's let's um, introduce you to uh, Dr. Verdijk here. He's the program director of the Master Human Movement Sciences and next to him is co-coordinator Dr. Bongers. Um, let's start. I would like to invite you to welcome the, the audience.
slide adaptation. Yes. Dear students, still, but also dear almost HMS colleagues. Hi Lex, I just wanted to tell you that I've been pursuing a PhD at the University of Hong Kong and that a few days ago my first paper was published in the British Journal of Sports Medicine. I'm very excited about it and I thought it may interest you. It also made me think back about my years at Maastricht University and how much that helped me to get where I am right now. I stole this quote from an email that I received actually last week from one of the students that graduated two years ago. Um, it nicely illustrates, I think, and that's why I'm obviously uh, reading it out to you, what we would like for all of you to happen after today. Maybe it has already started. Starting your career, pursuing your professional ambitions, finding something that really interests you, hopefully acknowledging how your education as a Master of Science in Human Movement Sciences has helped you along the way. And that may have been primarily by the content or the topics that we offered you. It may be the Maastricht PBL system. Maybe it was a bit, it was a bit of the Dutch directness. Or all your experiences with all the people from the Netherlands, but also from Germany or Belgium, Austria, UK, Finland, France, Italy, Greece, Spain, and I can go on. Only talking, reading and writing in English, stressing to find a placement, preparing everything to go abroad maybe even. All of that has been part of your time studying human movement sciences at Maastricht University. And despite the additional challenges that we still had due to corona, you now all made it to the end. You managed to successfully finish your studies and here we are to officially celebrate that moment. I'm very happy that many of you were able to be physically present, but of course, I'm also addressing all the students that could not be here today as they are also about to be promoted to a new status. So what I'm saying here is meant for all of you also <coughs> online. About one, or for some people, two years ago, most of you started your journey to become a Master of Science in Human Movement Sciences. And today you have reached that goal, and I'm honored to stand here and be able to congratulate all of you on behalf of Maastricht University and the Faculty of Health, Medicine and Life Sciences. Today we are handing out 86 diplomas to students from all three specializations. This morning we had a session with 23 diplomas for health and rehabilitation and nine for physiotherapy as part of your academic program uh, at Somt University. And now we are having 32 diplomas, or 33 actually, I just heard, for the sports nutrition ceremony. If you do quick math, that doesn't get you to 86 graduates, because there's some people that are not here, but they will still be getting the diploma. In a sense, it's good that they couldn't join, because now we have more time for drinks afterwards. <laughs> so looking back at the years that lie behind you, you have deepened your knowledge of human movement in a specific area. You have strengthened your skills in applying that knowledge, and you have further developed your scientific thinking and your critical mindset on how to interpret and perform and present research in that area. And it is a really important area. We know that more than half of the population doesn't move around enough. And we know that over the past years, partly due to corona and lockdowns, participation in sports and physical activity has even further declined over the entire world. That is clearly alarming because we also know that exercise or physical activity is the key lifestyle factor that can reduce the risk of almost any disease you can think of. It's a primary element in the treatment of those diseases and being physically active is associated with a longer or more importantly even a healthier lifespan. And then on the other side of the spectrum, the reopening of society post COVID, including the reopening of major sports events has also shown us that the fun and the performance factor in sports remain key areas that have always drawn a lot of attention and will remain to do so. So how can you optimally, how to maintain optimal fitness levels in elite athletes if they're preparing for the Olympics, even when they are postponed with a year? How can we optimize training adaptation to reach your personal best, whether that is on an individual level, trying to reach a three or maybe a four hour time limit on a marathon, or whether it's even reaching an incredible two hour time limit, which came again close to two weeks ago in Berlin. Now we know for a fact that apart from Elliot Kipchoge's incredible physical and mental capabilities, many sports and movement scientists work behind the scenes to make such achievements possible so that everyone can enjoy such memorable sports moments. So what I'm trying to say with all of that is that there's definitely a need for people like you, knowledgeable people that understand the importance of human movement and that can bring across that message to society in general. And with the knowledge and the skills that you have gained over the past years, you will be able to contribute to shaping part of the future for that society. 
And some of you will do so in a research setting, <coughs> further establishing an evidence base for the best ways to promote health or performance, like the student that I was quoting in the beginning. Others will use their knowledge to educate professionals in the field, and still others will implement their knowledge and their skills more in a practical setting, working as a healthcare professional or a government advisor or an R&D specialist in a company or a personal trainer or supervisor working for sports or rehabilitation centers. It may not be an even road that lies ahead of you, but you've taken the very first hurdle with the diploma that you're getting today. And in due time, we firmly believe that human movement scientists are eagerly awaited for to generate and implement knowledge that can help to solve problems that affect many people in our society now, but also in the future. And today we are delivering almost 90 new human movement scientists to the world. And you all deserve to be in the spotlight, and you will be in a minute, but I do want to take the opportunity to name a few names specifically. First of all, Noortje Boort, sitting in front here. Noortje has been much involved as an ambassador for our program during open days, answering all kinds of questions also online from prospective students. And that's always a great help to get a better idea, not from our perspective, but more so from a student's perspective on what our program is about, and also what Life in Maastricht is about. And Noortje was also kind enough to accept my invitation to speak to us today, to provide a bit of a student perspective. So thank you, Noortje, and we'll get back to you in 20 minutes or so. Also, thanks to Bernadette Benzinger from the other specialization, as she was actually also involved in assisting during open days to provide a specialization-specific perspective from the health and rehabilitation track. Again, much appreciated. And then a special congratulations to one student in this year's cohort that managed to graduate with distinction, or cum laude, as we say, Lisa Nijbroek. So congratulations, Lisa. And then you can keep your hands together because we're also applauding for someone else. We could have sung, but I just heard that Kenny is, uh, it's his birthday today. So congratulations, Kenneth. <laughs> uh, you can all sing later on, obviously. <laughs> and then a final word of thanks to all of you for choosing our program and for providing us also with feedback on that program. We always strive to improve the content of what we offer to our students. But we can only do that if we also get honest feedback from you as students on what is good and where there's room for improvement, as we always say. And I'm happy that most of that feedback is usually quite positive, but there's always some critical, insightful notes that can be made and that we will take into account to maintain and even further improve the quality of our education. So with that, I would like to end by congratulating all of you with obtaining your master's degree. I do that on behalf of the faculty and on behalf of all the academic staff involved in our program especially also on Rob de Bie and Bart Bongers, who are sitting here as the co-coordinators of our program. But really also on behalf of myself, and not just as the program director, but more so as one of your new colleagues. I hope you will enjoy your well-deserved new status as a Master of Science, and I sincerely wish you all the best in your professional career, but maybe even more importantly, in life in general. It would be great to stay in touch, and if you agree, then if you haven't done so, please become a member of our Human Movement Sciences on uh, LinkedIn. I've already spammed you with the email a few weeks ago, so have a look back in your mailbox. <coughs> and then a final congratulations to all parents, family members, friends, husbands, wives, uh, anyone joining online as well. Um, you can be very proud. And then the last words again are for you. Congratulations, and thank you for listening to me for one last time. <laughs>
um, with um, the f uh, one candidate who finished uh, uh, her study, cum laude, with distinction, it means she performed very well. So double applause. Lisa Nijbroek, hè? Ja. Ja. Oké, congratulations. En dan moet je turnen, want de camera is over daar. Congratulations. En congratulations. En je gaat verder to tattooen. Ja. Dank je wel. Oh, hier. Hier, hier, hier. Hier, hier. En dan de maybe smile. Ja, perfect. Ja, magnifiek. Perfect. Ja, we continue with Stefan Becks. Marleen Boerboom. Ja, fijn, dat is fijn, ja. Oké, ja, wie continue? Uh, Noortje Boot. Deborah Bruckner. Klaassens. van den einde. Santiago Fernandes Pola.
Janine Fluit. Lise Heineman. Lianne Hogeveen. Amber ten Hove. Bas Jacobs. Jetten. Jeremiah Kaiser. Sophie Lohuis. We are um, no, a little bit in the middle, so I would like to ask Noortje Boot for, uh, for her speech. speech. I have to stand on my toes, I guess. Oh, if you look better here, so, and then here. Nee, maar dan komen ze hier. Misschien dat je hier staat. Ja. En dat je dan kijkt, de camera is daar. Oh, ja. En dat iedereen... Wacht even, even deze weg. Zo. Ja, beter zo. Oké. Okay.
Okay, so I was asked by Lex to uh, break up the routine for a bit, so uh, nice to see you all guys. I would like to start with a quote by Franklin Roosevelt, which is, I am not the smartest fellow in the world, but I can sure pick smart colleagues. And that is a, a quote along the lines of how I experienced our first lecture a bit more than a year ago. Because it was at that moment that I got to meet my future colleagues, which are you guys now at this moment. Our first lecture was, something, was the start of something we all had in common, namely an interest in how the stuff we can eat or drink affects athletic performances. But it wasn't only that. Only that. that first lecture was also the start of a year that none of us had experienced before. With COVID restrictions being gradually released, it meant we could finally go to campus to get on-campus education again. And what a relief that was. Not just because chatting in person is fun, no, it also makes sitting in a nitrogen-like freezing cold lecture hall at 8.30 on a Friday morning a bit more bearable. Simply because more bodies warm up a cold room quicker. Anyways, the first lecture by Jorn, aka Dr. Trommelin, aka Mr. Nutrition Tactics, hashtag no spawn, <laughs> our first semester started. And in our first semester, we had coursework to do. We only had to go to campus twice a week, on a Tuesday and a Friday. Easy peasy is what it sounds like. But then our first writing assignment made its entrance, and I think you can all remember the fact sheet assignment. Well, for all attendees here, besides the student, the fact sheet assignment was a very easy to do, simple assignment. Quick and easy, no fancy words, with the goal to communicate science to people outside of science. Well, we did not get that many hours on statistics, but I can sure say that I picked a very representative sample of our study cohort to ask them what they thought about the fact sheet assignment. I won't spill any details, but it sucked. <laughs> Anyways, the fact that you guys are here today with me means you got it done, and then um, the essay uh, season started. We got the first writing assignment out of the way, and with that, the week started rolling, and no week was the same, besides one factor. And that factor was the capabilities of our tutors during the PBL system, the tutorials, to never, ever, ever answer your question. <laughs> or they would give an answer in the format of another question. Well, I'm not complaining because the tutorials given in the PBL format, which was already spoken about, the PBL stands for Problem-Based Learning, it is the educational format we use here at Maastricht University, or maybe I could abbreviate it as protein-based learning, because at some point I thought we only got to thought about proteins. Anyways, I am not complaining, but because in those tutorials, it was the moment we, we got to connect with each other. Not just we as students with each other, but also us students with the teaching stuff. And I think that is a very unique opportunity of our study program because you get to connect with the leading experts in this research field. And in hindsight, I can say that it are actually the smartest people that make the dumbest jokes. Well, to me it felt like blinking my eyes once and the first semester was over. And then the second semester started. And in the second semester it became a bit more fun. Because in the second semester we had to do an internship uh, for which some of us stayed in Maastricht, some of us traveled outside of Maastricht, and some even traveled abroad. We all got to go on an adventure there. The internship was basically the period in which we students got our hands dirty on practical stuff. So we could help out on running research projects. And we got our hands dirty on a very wide spectrum of activities. And it became very clear that becoming a human movement scientist was not only about reading the papers. No, starting up early morning infusion test days at 7 a.m. in the lab, helping out with muscle biopsies, taking blood samples, doing overnight shifts at the MRI scanner, you name it, we got it done. And I'm proud of all of you. But then, human movement sciences wouldn't be human movement sciences if there wasn't a written assignment in this last period. And that was the icing on the cake, our master's thesis. And the thesis was different for everyone, not just because the data set we wrote about was different, but also the way we approached it. 
Some banged it out in a week due to poor planning maybe, or some took it a bit, a bit more slow and wrote it in about two months. And I think this was a good learning experience because, because it was this period that you figured out science or academia is the world you want to live in, or maybe you want to continue in more the applied sciences. And that is a very important lesson. But anyway, here we are at this moment. You're graduated with a Human Movement Sciences Master Degree, and you can be very proud of that. I would say a hand of applause on that. <laughs> but I'm not done, because I would like to thank you guys. I'm happy to have made a choice to come to Maastricht and study here a year ago, because it meant that I got to meet you guys. It was a great opportunity to experience the beautiful Maastricht, the city of Maastricht, but also the university. What a relief it was and what a great variety in our cohort we had. Lex already mentioned the countries we come from. We all had different backgrounds, different career perspectives and different goals. That is unique. It still strikes me that after only one year, or for some of us two years of studying, you can call yourself a human movement scientist. But it is only the beginning. With handing in your thesis and picking up your diploma today, it is only about to start. Now it is the time to apply the knowledge you gathered over the past year and put it in practice. I'm grateful to have spoken with many of you along the road. I wish you all the best in your, uh, in your future careers. Keep doing what you do, stay curious, keep learning. I wish you all the best and hope to ever talk to you as colleagues again. Congratulations and cheers to all of you. Thanks. Okay, thank you, Noortje. Oh. We continue. Nina Meus. It's your birthday, Kenneth Newman. <laughs> Jan van Overdam. Floor Praster. Tessa de Ruiter. Casper Schroef.
Denis Smeets. Mout Smeets. Bart Thomas. <applaus> Annerie Treffers. Tim Falks. Job van Kerkhoven. Charlotte van Westerhuis. Nikki Wijnands. Esther Wilms. <applaus> Milena Tsumpuli. Ja, 
the final candidate, um, Eva Tsiviolec. Ladies and gentlemen, we have uh, come to the end of the session in which 33 candidates uh, received their master diploma. Um, I have some uh, announcements, some important points. Um, the final assignment is to check your diploma. Is your name correct? It's not necessary to do it now, huh? but check, check the grades, etc. And if you see a failure, you can always send the board of examiners an email. Yeah? Okay, after the ceremony, you uh, leave the church via the door behind me. Yeah? And um, after leaving the church, um, uh, a group picture will be taken outside. Yeah? And please follow the instructions. In about six weeks, you will receive a link uh, via email and you can find the pictures of this uh, session. Yeah. Okay, now it was a great pleasure to uh, be the first to congratulate you uh, with your master. Uh, and from this place, I would like to congratulate parents, friends, um, etc. And um, I can imagine you would like to uh, congratulate um, your um, friend, family, etc. And we uh, will invite you to the Grand Café Maastricht Zwarol. It's Freithof number 18. And you uh, will be invited for a drink. And there are some vouchers in your folder. Yeah? Okay, now let's, let's uh, finish this uh, business, this session. Um, this is the end of the meeting, ladies and gentlemen, and I uh, thank you all very much for your presence, and I wish you a pleasant day, and I would like to also say goodbye for, uh, for the live streamers. Thank you for watching, and um, hereby I would like to close this meeting.
The uh, drinks are uh, behind the church on the right side. It's a red building. Okay. 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 Enjoy it. Thanks. <laughs> there are sweets. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> 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 